Okay, so this is the tale of my Playing Legends Spitfire. My friends and I bought several of these when we went to the Nuts a few years back. Now the first thing I want to say is, what we need to do is bear in mind this little bit here. Um, and what that is, is bring it up. That seam is very important and I'll explain that later on. So. Here we have three really nice models. They look great, but unfortunately with this particular model, uh, it doesn't stand the landings very well and none of these models survived. Okay, so this is the setup with the motor that was supplied with the kit. Unfortunately, it wasn't very good and it started to overheat. So the three of us bought these and we found the same thing so the motor was replaced I'll show you the motor later on and also the speed controller was upgraded as well this is the lead or part of the lead used to get the correct COG and also in here you can see in the cow I had to put more lead as well so there's a fair it was a fair old boiling piece by the time we'd finished okay so here we have the two motors this was the old one the one that overheated this is the new one that we bought as you can see it's an overlander thunder tiger or wherever right here she is um, all ready for the new motor um, as you can see all that box stuff's gone um, and I believe if memory serves me right I actually added an extra bit to the front of this firewall to beef it all up to take the new motor so that's that bit and she's looking pretty good even at this stage. I have to say the finished job really was a good looking model. Okay, so we've got the motor fitted. Things are looking pretty good. Even the guy on the telly can't believe how good it looks. Okay, so we're on to the next bit now then. On mine, I also removed these uh, because I just didn't want it to do damage on landing. Okay, if you're going to do a scale job and you want it to look scale, leave them on. But for practical flying, you might just as well take them off. Well, there she is, all done and dusted and looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out, or I was, I should say. Um, if you notice, I've painted the spinner green, which looks so much better than that red thing that it came with. Well, that's the red thing that it came with, actually, but I've just, like I say, I've just painted it green. So there, there we have it. So that's the next bit. Now the interesting bit comes when we start to fly it. Okay. That's going well, John. Well, if this gets damaged on land, then I would certainly be tempted to repair it now after this. Yeah, lovely. Steve's taking it, so your knee shots are getting the... Uh, oh. I think the battery's dying a bit. Right for white. Is it? Just that you need to put your rock look into it. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get into doing the wide yes, copper. That's better. Right, that sort of turn. Yes, yeah. Get dead shot with the lip. Oh, shit. I spoilt it. I've got spiders on their glasses. I don't know which one to fly. <laughs> well, the one that's only got two wings instead of eight legs, that's <laughs> the one to fly. We've got a good landing area anyway, it? we'll move hug it off. That looks a bit. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Yes. I don't think I'm going to bother putting the aerobatic settings on it. 
No. Does that look quite reasonable? Yeah. Well, that's what they say, the right. higher settings. All oh, right. Plane, no. no. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Yeah. That's what you want to do for your landing to go out there. Yeah. Get it nicely lined up. Straight and coming straight at you. Kiss the earth. As you saw from the video, it all went pear shaped and it ripped the front end out. However, it looks fairly clean, so I've managed to get it all back together again. Um, the motor wasn't damaged, fortunately, or anything like that. And I repaired it, as you can see, put it all back together again, and we had another flight with it. Now, that flight, although I haven't got any video of it, which is a shame really because it would have been quite entertaining to see what happened. Not only that, it would have given me an idea where I went wrong. Here we are, all back together again, ready for another go. I've used an Aeronaut 7, uh, 10x7 folding prop for this because I didn't want it to rip out like it did the last time. The only problem was with it, well I'd, actually I do know what went wrong. For, for a start I took her off under full power and then put a tight turn on and the wings applauded my effort by folding. But that's where we went wrong. Anyway, you can see the results in the next clip. Oh dear, oops, as they say in the trade. This is the result of the second flight. Um, what happened? Well, I think that if you remember at the start of this, I said about the seam that runs along the leading edge, which I thought was a good idea to remove it made it look better however I suspect that what happens when I put a turn on and banked it round the wings folded and I think it was because the the, in, the upper and lower wings separated due to brains here removing the seam that was added the strength so if you have one of these don't be tempted to take that seam off uh, apart from that it was a nice looking model it flew well but every time it landed it seemed to do damage and it wasn't just mine it was the other guys as well and I've had a lot of feedback from other people who've had these and said the same thing but for a static model well for 30 quid you can't go wrong <laughs> 